So we hired this little group called the Rolling Stones. And they were our <laughs> opening act in 61. That's amazing. And I came home and I said, they're okay. They can play a little blues. Nothing to write home about. I still feel that way. This is, uh, we'll start the uh, interview here. Okay, cool. We're going to start now. Froggy Real Country Variety. It's a danger show. We're in Vegas for the ACM Awards with Move Music powered by Cricket. Uh, sitting here in the Froggy Suite with us now, which you can see the video, froggyland.com. Click on Froggy TV because you're Check that out because there are little frogs like jumping around <laughs> everywhere in this room. If you can keep keep them on that side. Uh, if, you, if you go look at the video, you'll definitely recognize Mickey Jones. <laughs> He's in the FX series Justified. He's been in a bunch of TV shows and movies. One of my favorite movies of all time with Billy Bob Thornton, Sling Blade. Sling Blade, yeah. I was in Sling Blade. And here's something nobody knows. I was actually uh, uh, six weeks before told I was doing the Dwight Yoakam role. Oh, you were going to be the bad guy. I want, oh. oh, and I love being the bad guy. And then about two weeks before uh, we were going to Arkansas to shoot, uh, Billy Bob said, called me up and he said, yeah, I need to talk to you. And I said, yeah, what's up, man? He said, you're going to hate me. I said, I'm not going to hate you. What's going on? He said, I had to give your role away. I said, I hate your <laughs> guts. <laughs> so I went in and still did it as... Uh, the Johnson, the drummer with Dwight Yoke. Yeah, you were band. you were one of his drunk buddies. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so if you haven't was, seen Sling fun. Blade yet, you oh, got it's a classic. It is. It has become a classic. And Dwight Yoakam is a detestable character in that movie, which kind of makes it great. I think it makes you, me hate his guts because he <laughs> took my role. <clears throat> Uh, Mickey Jones is here. He's also been on Home Improvement. I did uh, Home Improvement for eight years with Tim Allen. And you think going to work with Tim Allen every day and not coming home with your side killing you, it's right. you can't do it, man. <laughs> that was great, great I could fun. Go, I could go on Dukes of Hazard, Incredible Hulk, Baywatch, Married with Children, but you're also a, a famous musician. You were the drummer for Kenny Rogers. That's right. Uh, Bob Dylan. You've been telling us stories about how you were Bob Dylan's drummer when he turned down Woodstock. Exactly. Well, we, we left L.A. and did a world tour, literally circumnavigating the globe. We, we left L.A., went to Hawaii, Tahiti, Fiji, six weeks in Australia, Malaysia, Thailand, Burma, India, Lebanon, Sweden, Switzerland, Denmark, back to the Great Britain, back to New York, so right. back to L.A. So, I, 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 and this was the infamous tour where we got booed off the stage for playing electric rock and roll. <laughs> when Bob was out there doing the acoustic set, you could hear a pin drop. But uh, when we came out with electric guitars and drums and <coughs> piano and electric bass and organ, they booed us off the stage. People weren't ready for it. They hated our guts. And now Rolling Stone just did an article and they, they call it the greatest rock and roll tour in history. That's cool. So go figure. And, and you were saying the reason why Bob Dylan wasn't in Woodstock is because they wanted to pay him eight grand for the show and he was well, making 15 that, grand. That was us. We were getting 15 grand a night okay. with the first edition. Oh, and it was Kenny Rogers. Yeah, with Kenny Rogers in the first edition. We were getting 15 grand a night. So we, Kenny Rogers we, could have been at Woodstock too? Well, they asked us to come to Woodstock <laughs> because we had the big psychedelic hit called Just Dropped In to See What Condition My Condition Was In. And our manager said, they're only offering 8000 Do you guys want to do that? And we thought, well, why would we turn down a $15,000 gig for 8000 <laughs> And oddly enough, that was the same reason that Bob was not at Woodstock. Oh, okay. Because they had no money to pay him. Kenny Rogers could have been a part of the hippie movement. Yeah, well, we sort of were. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, Kenny Rogers is coming to Cal U. Uh, on April 20th at the Convocation Center. Get your tickets at Ticketmaster. Now, you're in town. And go up to him and tell him you know <laughs> Mickey Jones personally. <laughs> Who paid their drummer the best, Bob Dylan or Kenny Rogers? I would have to say Bob Dylan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, fair enough. And, Sorry, Kenny. Yeah, right. <laughs> and you're in town for the ACM Awards this weekend? Going to the ACM Awards this weekend, and I am tickled to death. Because I'm going to see so many. I've already seen a couple of really good buddies. Jeff Cook from Alabama. He was, yep, we talked Ran to into him. Jeff this morning. I was looking for Daryl Worley. He's a good friend of mine. Yep. And it'll be fun because it'll be fun, but we're not going to get to be backstage because all my buddies are going to be there. Diamond Rio is going to be there. Chris Christofferson, who I've known for 35 years. I mean, these are all friends of mine. And I, I, I'll be a little sad that I won't get to see them, you know, like we would just sit and visit. But I'm tickled to death to do the show and to get to be in the audience and see what really I would have to say is the 
greatest lineup of artists that you'll ever see in one place. Right. No question about it. Well, uh, he's uh, had a successful music career and uh, definitely a really hot acting career. You can check out Mickey Jones on FX, the series Justified. Right. What do you think that gets you into all these movies? Is it because you fit a, a certain character they're looking for? You, you do have to fit the character they're looking for. Now, I just did my third episode. It aired last Tuesday for Justified. And I had a, a nice talk at lunch with one of the executive producers, and he is also one of the head writers. He created my character for the show. And he said, you know, when you came in for the first episode for the character that I wrote, his name is Rodney Hot Rod Dunham. <laughs> and he's the big <clears throat> drug kingpin of Memphis. Oh, I like and, him. And one of the reasons I got the job is because I said Memphis. Well, I'm from Memphis. Well, I like you, that. you got to be able to say Memphis. <laughs> Not Memphis. No, Memphis. Well, he, he said to me, he said, you were so perfect. And we have now expanded your role, and I absolutely love your character. We're not killing you off, because wow. they, kill, they kill everybody. <laughs> and uh, uh, he said, you're back next season, just so you'll know, you're back next season. And I'm, I'm so honored, because the writing is so good. And the fact that the guy who created my character likes what I've done with his character, it's like a win-win for me. And he said for them too. So I'm, I'm, I'm just tickled to be on the hottest show on TV right now, man. So it's fun. If they need any young Irish guys, uh, let me know. The <laughs> only problem with that, brother, is you do have to be somewhat good looking. <laughs> so, and you do have the perfect face for you. Really well. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm in trouble. I'll never be in Sacramento again. We're in Pittsburgh, so whatever. Yeah. Well, then Sacramento, I can Sacramento, go to. Sacramento, you can go. He's Mickey Jones. Thank you so much for taking time with us. We're at the ACM Awards in Vegas with Froggy.